एट बोस्ट क्रैम एंड सी डी एन जे एस डॉट कॉम राइट जी 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 नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर एस टू यू नो डिफाइन सम कोड इनसाइड दिस बॉडी पार्ट बट बिफोर डूइंग दैट लेट्स डू वन थिंग लेट्स फर्स्ट यू नो इंटीग्रेट दिस एच टी एम एल पेज विद अवर पाइथन कोड so what we can do let's first write down something over here i'm writing my own name you can put your name in the inside this body tag and uh, we have the name of this html page is to do one underscore list dot html and smita ji it is present inside this folder name to do one which is again inside a folder named templates right now how can we make our python project access this particular uh, file that's what we have to now define the code for so we can come here on views.py so you know there is a function named list to do underscore items which we defined and it is giving us this name as an output on the web page if you remember right so this is what we are getting okay. now if i'll just uh, no python interpreter selected i don't know why i'm getting this error just a second smitha ji yeah now it's now it is fine i think yeah so here what we can do we can simply define the path through which uh, you know our function or you can say our python code can access that html page which we have just defined so here instead of using http response we need to use a method called render right because it is not an html uh, tag we have to work with it is now a full html template we have to access and http response doesn't work for this in in place of http response we uh, we use render just keep this in mind especially so return render and here we can simply first pass a request and then we can define the path uh, you know of this file name to do one underscore list dot html so it is present inside uh, the folder named to do one so let's first define the name of the we, folder we are writing inside uh, views.py right absolutely right smita ji we are writing it inside oh. views.py so to do one underscore list dot html and now i am saving the changes let me check if i can get the correct output or not so for that i need to run the python server manage.py run server Okay. now we are integrating html code with python right absolutely right smita ji absolutely right oh, okay so this we can and that earlier what we have done earlier the name was reflecting see, on web browser see in the starting we we connected sorry we create we started with uh, uh, you know uh, creating a django project after that we created an application inside the django project after that we connected our django project with this pg admin database if you remember ha huh. right we connected that uh, after that we tested our django project whether it is working fine or not you know we uh, define the connectivity between these files which are there in the project right. folder and the files which are there in the applications folder so we define so the that name that Name was reflecting on browser. That was a testing part, right? Absolutely right, Smita ji. For checking whether, whether it is connected, whether the application whether is properly connected to the project or not. Database and project, right? Okay, ji. Okay. Not the database, Smita ji. Whether the application we have defined in the project is connected properly to the project or not. Okay, means to do one, it connected to to do project one, right? Absolutely right, Smita ji. So okay. now we are not getting any error here, but here I think we need to change the URL to 
uh, it should be to do one. Okay. And what I have used here, let me just check that too. So I have used here to do one dot urls. So for accessing this page, I think, uh, okay, to do one and then in this, just a second, Smithaji, I need to check here something. Here I have used to do one. And then here uh, in this urls dot py, I have used list. So I need to just replace this with to do one. It's not working for me. Why is it so? To do one list. It's giving me this 404 error. It means that it's not able to locate uh, this HTML page. Now, why is it so? That's what we'll have to check for. Why is it not able to locate this HTML file? This is inside to do one. And then I have this folder named templates inside which I have again a folder named to do one inside which this HTML page is present. Okay. Uh, I think I have used an incorrect slash. Yeah, it should be like this. Not sorry, sorry, sorry. It should be this only because this works in HTML and then to do one. Okay, this is if I'll put, let me put this templates also over here. Maybe now it will be able to identify, locate the page. Let's refresh it. Still, it's not able to locate this page named to do one underscore list dot HTML. What is the issue? Why is it not able to? So templates is there. This is perfectly fine. Why is it not able to locate it? Then here we have used a render then HTTP response. Let me just check it here also now. If I'll just fire this command. Okay. So now uh, let me refresh the page. Yeah, it is working. My VS code is also working perfectly fine now. I'm able to get the output here. So I've successfully connected my HTML page with the Python code is methodic. Now, whatever changes I will make in my HTML page automatically, I will be able to see them getting reflected over here. Okay. Are you getting my points with Yeah. Can we move to the next step? Or are you just trying it out? Uh, just uh, uh, take it. No problem. Take your time. No problem. So you have su successfully connected your web page with Python code. Now it's time for us to just modify this web page. So let's first start with the body part. So I would like to use a bootstrap class here. So there are a number of bootstrap classes. If you want to know about them, you can simply surf for them on the internet. You know? So whatever I will be able to recall whatever I've learned. Definitely that's what I'm going to tell you, uh, you know, these lectures. So if I just give a refresh to it, let me put my name here, Margin. So there is this class called BG light. Okay, the color hasn't changed much. But you know, the background has become somewhat light. Then we can use, let's use some divisions. So division tag and with the first division tag, I would like to use 
a container class so that's how general no, we are now uh, you know we'll be creating we are creating a web application smita ji now with this web application uh, it's going to be a to do list web application i hope you have heard about to do list you must have heard about to do list whatever work you do you make a list of that those things so yeah. that is what to do list is so we are going to make a to do list kind of application and now we are creating a web page on which we can you know have some input box and we can have a plus button and if a you if the user will clicks that bu plus button automatically whatever he will write in the input box it will get added as a task in the to do list so we are making here a calculator like we are not making a calculator smita ji basically let me just show it to you in paint i think uh, if i'll be able to draw it ah uh, yeah open paint i'll get some idea definitely so suppose this is your web page so what i'll be doing i am going to create a an input box like this then i'm going to uh, put a button here let's say uh, you know it is going to be a button like this with plus symbol inside it if and then uh, there is going to be a, a panel like this and so we are making like form right in web form web form yes you can you can take it like this is better so if the oh, okay. user writes anything here suppose he writes uh, right Uh, automatically that particular thing will get added to the list so this is what we are going to do so i have created a division here and i have used a bootstrap class called container with this division in uh, interviews you know you may be asked by the interviewers that what are the different types of bootstrap classes we can use for enhancing the views of html pages so you know you can name these classes which i am using right now over here and after that you, know, you you can do some research on the bootstrap, bootstrap classes you can change these classes to something else to, and then you can check the output what kind of output you are getting so this is how you can learn more about bootstrap i hope you are understanding my points with ajit so we are learning here bootstrap right we are uh, we are using bootstrap here is ajit right you are not learning actually uh, you know bootstrap we are using we are using bootstrap yes bootstrap ka okay. bilkul alag course hai we are not learning it but yes you will be able to get a very good idea of how bootstrap can be used then let's create a row and i'm going to create a row uh, with this class named row empty dash 5 so empty here stands for <coughs> i think it's for margin top yes it's for margin top and let's just create another division inside it this time the class i am i'll be using for this division is uh, you know column class so column then md again for margin and then 8 and then let's use an offset also so offset can be used like this offset 2 okay so how many divisions in total i have uh, this is the main please give me a couple of Sure, sure. No problem, dear. No problem. I'll be, I'll be right back. No problem. Please, please. No problem. Usmita ji, see, I have created three divisions. This is the parent division. Then I again, uh, you know, put another division inside the parent division. I again put one more division inside this second one. Right. So we can call it a nested division, right? Absolutely right, Smita ji. So I have used a class called container. Then I have divided this container class into rows, and then I have divided these rows into columns. Now, when I uh, inserted my name here inside this third division, you know I am getting this output. See. So okay. because I have bifurcated the uh, rows into columns, so that is the reason my name is now getting reflected over here. Fine. So you know oh. that is how we can uh, test the bootstrap classes. Now, if I so just... we are we putting some uh, row number, column number somewhere, or uh, by default it's coming to there? 
by default see these are by default uh, what we call it uh, these are default bootstrap classes is method okay right? so if you will make some changes here in this number suppose if you change it to 5 automatically you will see the position of this will get changed on the web page are you getting my point okay. Sajji, or not so uh so inside inner inner division the division class you can create yeah, it many backward. your name went backward absolutely right Sitaji, because now this name is inside the second division earlier it oh, was okay. there inside the third one now it's there inside this row so that is the reason it is now getting reflected over here that's what i i'm trying to explain here you know uh, if you will use this division automatically the position of this will get changed now let me just change this 5 to 15 and if i'll just execute the enter f f5c the position again changed oh okay so you know so you empty, will, empty means margin top margin absolutely right Sita. it it stands for margin top margin from margin the top. top. Okay, so what about this MD, MD2 and MD8? It is for margin for the column, Smithaji. And this is for offset. You know, you'll have to experiment on these things. Offset is 2 and offset. column margin is 8. Column right? margin is 8. That is right. Uh, okay. Now, inside it, let's create a card division. So, division... And then we can use a class called card. And here I'm going to, I need to close this division. Then now let's divide this card into two divisions. So for dividing it into two divisions, I need to first use this first division. Then the, for the point where this first division is ending, just after that, let's create another division. So let me just explain you this whole structure, Smithaji. This is the parent division. Inside it, I have uh, in total three divisions. Now, the one which has uh, the class named card on it, I have divided this division into two divisions. That's what I have done till now. Now let's do one thing. Let's define a class for this first division. And then we are going to define a class for this second division. So for this first division, let's uh, define a uh, card class. So again, there is a, a class called card header. So if you have to, if you want to define the header of the card, you can make use of this class. Now, besides that, if you want to see some shadow kind of thing getting reflected behind it, so there is a shadow class, S-H-A-D-O-W, then I think it is S-M, then uh, we can define the background color using B-G, so I would like to keep the background as white. Okay, and then for this division, let's define the body card class, so card body. So whatever you're going to put inside this division, it will act as a header for the card. And whatever you will put inside this one, it is going to go in the body of the card. I hope you have understood this much, Smithaji. Yes, yes. Let's now, uh, I think we can come here first inside this uh, header part. And here we can use this H1 tag. So let's just define a class for this also. So uh, this time I'm going to use a display class. So this is again a bootstrap class. I would like to keep my text as a five pixels and because I'm using it for general information. So I'm going to use text info for that. So this is the bootstrap class, which people, which professionals use for reflecting the general information uh, you know, which is in the form of text to the users. Now, after this, what we can do, we can simply first I'm not, I'm not. use it. And I would like to see everything getting reflected in italics. So I for italics, then class, just a second, Smithaji.
Uh, here, let's use italic class, and you know there is a class called uh, this FA class, which uh, professionals generally use if they want to see something getting, if they want to put something uh, in the what we call it in bold. So suppose you want some tick marks. So this is what you can make use of FA dash tick, and you want to have double tick. Suppose then you can put double here. If you want triple, you can put triple because I want double tick, so I'm putting double here. And then after this, let's what just. What is the meaning go. of FA? FA. I don't know the complete. Uh, you know what we call it. FA. FA. I don't know. See, I have memorized these. Uh, you know, class names. Oh, okay. I will not be able to recall the, you know, but definitely in the next class, I will tell you the full form of these two things. Don't worry. No, no problem. So just after this, so, here we can put some text and let's have. Uh, so which is used for tick button? Which is used for double tick. This, double tick button. This is the one which we use for double tick, Smitaji. F 